Blessed with rich marine resources and warm tropical climate, the Philippines is one of the favorite destinations of migratory birds and marine migratory species traveling thousands of miles away in search of food and temporary breeding ground. The constant movement during migration season made these animals vulnerable to hunters, poachers, and other illegal activities. Habitat degradation, such as land conversion, encroaching, and other unsustainable human activities also endanger these animals. Being one of the migratory pathways for migratory species, the Philippines joined the world in the protection and conservation of these species. The country is signatory to several international agreements that are meant to protect migratory species. Some of them are Ramsar Convention in 1971, Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species in 1973, Convention on Biological Diversity in 1992, and the Convention on Migratory Species of Wild Animals in 1994. The Philippines has been a party to the Convention on Migratory Species uh, for a long time. And being a member, we have been given a lot of opportunities to cooperate with other countries in the protection of migratory species across their uh, range areas. And uh, in the past few years, the protection and conservation of migratory species has uh, increasingly uh, been recognized to contribute to sustainable development goals. Other agreements were also inked for the protection and conservation of marine turtles, whale sharks, and dugong and their habitats. Memorandum of Understanding on the Conservation and Management of Marine Turtles and Their Habitats of the Indian Ocean and Southeast Asia in 2001. Memorandum of Understanding on the Conservation and Management of Dugongs and Their Habitats Throughout Their Range in 2008 and the Memorandum of Understanding on the Conservation of Migratory Sharks in 2010. On the local front, the Philippines wired its protection through the issuance of laws and policies intended to protect these migratory species. Some of these are National Integrated Protected Area System, NEPAS Act, Philippine Fisheries Code, Wildlife Resources Conservation and Protection Act, and Tubataha Act. Known habitats, both for terrestrial and marine migratory species, were also declared protected areas. The Philippines has identified 117 important bird areas for the protection of migratory birds. Some of them are Candaba, Las Piñas Paranaque Critical Habitat and Ecotourism Area, Nauhan Lake, Olango Island. Known habitats for marine migratory species were also protected through the declaration of these areas as sanctuaries and protected seascapes. Some of them are Donsol Marine Sanctuary, Tanyon Strait Protected Seascape, Turtle Islands Wildlife Sanctuary, Pujada Bay Landscape and Seascape, El Nido Managed Marine Reserve, Malampaya Sound protected landscape and seascape. Specific laws and policies were also issued by the Department of Environment and Natural Resources and Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources for Dolphins, Dugongs, Whale Sharks, Manta Rays, and Marine Turtles. Much has been done. But there is still so much to be done for the protection and conservation of migratory species. And the only hope left for this planet is for countries all over the world to bond together and take actions to ensure survival of these species. With the changing climate and continuing threat these species are facing, they need us now more than ever. We hope that world leaders and the communities out there will join us in protecting and conserving these species 
for today and tomorrow's generation. Mabuhay!